In this video, I'm showing you how to use Photopea for beginners. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed, please go and leave a like as well. I really do appreciate it and it helps get this video to more people. So I'm showing you the four steps of being able to use Photopea and basically creating a cool image and then how to go and download it and go and use it. So if you're ready for this, let's go and get started. Now let's go and get straight into this tutorial. So as you can see, I'm now on photopea.com. Now the first thing I wanna quickly note is make sure you have disabled any ad blocker, otherwise you wanna keep getting a pop-up and Photopea do have to make an income to run this service. So essentially you will have some ads on the right hand side. But let's go and get straight into this. So the first thing you want to do is come over to the top left where it says file and go and click there and then go and click on new. Then it's gonna go and give you this option here. And then it, once again, in the top left, you can go and set the name. So I'm gonna change this to tutorial. And for the width and the height, this is gonna depend on what you want to use this image for you're creating. For me, I'm making a YouTube thumbnail. So 1280 by 720 is absolutely perfect, um, but you may want it to be a square. So you may want it to be a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, but you can also change the pixels to um, other measurements as well. And I'm gonna go and click create. I'm gonna have a transparent background actually, um, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. Then go and click create and here we go. So if you didn't already know, Photopea is very, very similar to Photoshop as well. Um, so if you have a rough idea of Photoshop, this will be easier, but I'm also showing you all the key features. So the first thing you wanna do is go and get a background image. So personally, I've got one already downloaded on my computer, but you may want to go and Google something like, uh, you know, free to use background image or just cool images, um, which you can sort of base your overall picture off. So to go and get a background, all you want to do is simply go and click on file and then go and click open and place. And it's gonna go and open up all of your files and then you just want to go and locate it. So I've just found a few images which I want to go and use. So I'm gonna go and use this one here. So I'm gonna double click on it and here we go. Now, as you can see, we can go and adjust the sizing by simply clicking here and we can move it like so. Now it is gonna distort it. So to avoid that, all you want to do is Control, Alt and T. And then when moving it, you want to simply hold Shift. If you hold Shift, it's not gonna distort it and it's gonna keep it in the same ratio. So then I'm just gonna make sure that it goes over the image as I want it to be fully covered, uh, just like so. Then you wanna go and click on the check mark. If you don't click on the check mark, it's not gonna save. So click there and then it's gonna go and save it. So once you've got your background image ready, you can then go and add other images on top of it or we could go and add some text. So for now, I'm gonna add some text and then I'm gonna go and add some more images um, to help form this picture slash thumbnail. So then I'm gonna go and click on the text tool, which is down here. And then you wanna go and simply click anywhere in the image. So I'm gonna click here and then it's gonna go and allow us to start typing. So then you can simply go and type what you'd like. So I could say um, test like so. It's really small as well. So to change this, simply go and click, double click on the text to highlight it. Change the size up at the top bar. Click here and you can go and use this dragger and just drag it up like so. I'm gonna make it probably about this size. And then you can go and change the font by coming over to the left as well. And then we can click here. So this font here looks quite cool. So I'm gonna click here and there we go. So then I'm just gonna go and make this tier capital like this, and uh, there we go. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and press the tick once again, and then you wanna go and make sure you go and select the mouse tool on, this, on the hotbar, and then you do Control, Alt, T, and then we can go and make it a bit bigger, once again holding Shift. So then I'm gonna have it like this, I'm gonna move it up to the top like so, there we go, and then go and click on the arrow again, and that's looking really cool. So the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna go and add a few effects to this, so then you wanna come over to the right where it's got all the list of your different layers and you wanna right click on it and you'll go and click on blending options. Then it's gonna go and bring up the layer style. I'll just smooth this down here so I can see what I'm doing. And then you wanna go and click on say the gradient overlay or you can go and click on color overlay. So color overlay is just gonna allow you to change it to any color like so. Or you can go and unselect this and go and turn on the gradient overlay and it's gonna allow you to create gradients, which is really cool. So click on gradients and then you can go and click on the gradient and you can change this color. So click on it and then here we go. As you can see, you can literally change this to any color and you can drag this along to show you sort of the effectiveness of it and the smoothness and there's so many different things. So I'm gonna go and change this color. So I'll click here and then go and click on the, the color which is currently black, so click here. So do the color and then go and press okay and then I'm gonna press okay again and then it's gonna go and save it. So I'm really liking this sort of silver theme here and then I'm gonna come across and click on drop shadow and then you wanna go and click on it and we can go and change how it looks. So I personally have the distance on nothing and then I'll increase the spread a bit 
and increase the size by quite a bit more. And there we go. I'm also going to increase the opacity actually as well. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, I may add a bit of an inner glow as well. They look quite cool. And then I'm going to go and click on it again and go and increase the opacity and then go and increase the size. So there we go. We're actually making this look really cool. So honestly, guys, it's so, so easy to use. And there's still a lot more to this tutorial. So do keep watching. Now, I'll quickly show you how you can use the pen tool. I know some people may want to use that. So come over to the right and go and click on this new layer. Honestly, making new layer is so important. If you don't, it's actually going to go and add it to the text layer, say, or the base image, and it's just harder to remove, basically. So I always recommend creating new layers when using sort of the pen tool. So click new layer, and then you can go and grab the pen tool. And then once you click on it, you're going to have the option at the top to go and change the size and the hardness. So if you want it to be sort of more soft, you can lower that. Um, if you want it to be more hard, then uh, increase it. So then you can go and change the color as well down here. So currently it's red. I'd want it to say, we'll just do green for this tutorial. Click OK. And let's go and test this out. So as you can see, here it is. We can go and draw what you'd like. Personally, I'm not going to keep this. I just wanted to show you guys how you can go and use it. So then I'm going to go and remove it. So click on it and then go and click on the bin button down here and it's going to go and remove it. So now I want to go and show you how you can go and remove the background of images uh, in Photopea. So go and find an image you'd like to remove the background of. So I'm going to go and click on thumb, thumbs up and I'm going to go and find an image with a white background. So if I click here, say uh, this is not transparent. Uh, so therefore it's got this white background. So right click on it, go and click copy and let's go and paste it into Photopea. So then do control alt V and go and click on allow. And then it's going to go and paste it in. And as you can see, it creates a new layer as well. So then make sure you click on the mouse tool again. And then here we go. So I'm going to drag it into place. And then all you want to do is go over to the left and we've got this magic wand tool. So then click on it here and then go over and you want to select the area you want to remove. So in this circumstance, it is the white background. So click on it there and then it's going to go and highlight it all. And then you want to go and click on the rubber and then you can simply go and rub it out. I'm going to make this rubber a bit bigger though. So I want to go and click on um, this tool here, I think. Yeah, here it is. And then we increase the size like so. And then I can just go and rub it out like so. And then to unselect it, all you want to do is Control Alt D, and then it gets rid of that. And then we can go and do Control Alt T, make it a bit bigger, and we could also add, say, a drop shadow again, uh, just to make it look a bit cooler. And that's literally it, guys. And then to go and save it, you've got a few options. You want to go up to the top where it says File, and then you want to go and simply do is Save as PSD. This means you can reopen it and continue to edit it, or you can just go and export it. But this means that it's sort of rendered out, and you can't then access these layers again. So then you go and say do PNG or JPEG, however you want to do it. So I'll click on JPEG and then I can literally go and click save and it's going to go and download it. That's literally it, guys. Honestly, it's so easy to use. There are other few features you could go and check out. But honestly, I've showed you the main ones, you know, adding text, using the layers. That's sort of the key things you need to know. So for more tutorials, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Have an awesome day. Peace.